My friends, let this be a lesson to all of us in hiring the right people for the right job. Because right now, we currently have a black and white roughed lemur shoved under the link sign on the top of a mountain. This is nowhere near the right spot. This is nowhere near the lemur habitat. And unfortunately, it seems when we try to go ahead and grab this box, so we can say, okay, let's go ahead and send this poor lemur boy back to his home. We cannot get him out of here. There's no path to any destination except for the Eurasian link habitat. So now we are going to have to sit here and watch this poor lemur and make sure that he does not become Lynx food. I have just spent forever trying to convince the right person to move this poor lemur into the right place. And unfortunately, the only place that our, our workers seem to want to send him is straight into the open waiting mouth of our Eurasian lynxes. That's not gonna happen. So we're gonna go ahead and wait until he ends up in here. And then we're gonna send him over to the Animal Trade Center as well. Also, our lynx habitat is about to fall apart again. Ah! <laughs> There's just so much happening all of the time. Okay, go to Trade Center, Kiadi. We'll take care of you later. <laughs> but there is just so much happening, including our poor, like, badgers, our poor lynxes. They just don't know where they're supposed to go again. Like, we're hiring people who don't seem to know, like, where to send all of- Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, there goes the badgers again. There go the badgers again. How is this happening? Is there just like a barrier? There's just a barrier missing here now. I don't even know what happened here. Look, I'm gonna go ahead and fix it myself. You know, sometimes you just have to do what you have to do. We're gonna put like fill it with glass so people can see both ways. What the earth? Did you guys see that? Okay, it's because the barrier status is literally zero. That's why it's breaking so much. All right, let's go ahead and go over to where would be the staff entrance for this area maybe over here yeah staff entrance is over here but look at that alicia one of our emergency repair people is already over here <laughs> fixing it I, I am so grateful for that alicia thank you so much all right meanwhile i have figured out a way to go ahead and repair our zoo a little bit more efficiently than i was doing before by turning on the map so that we can go ahead and see what different areas are in the red and then grabbing whatever mechanic we currently have and throwing them down next to the broken things, then we can go ahead and make sure that we're trying to repair certain areas. I think because the gondola has broken, somehow it made it so that people can't transport themselves from the base of the mountain up to the top of the mountain. And that is why we haven't been able to get anything done. Uh, but these poor trainees are kind of like getting some on-the-job training, this poor woman, in how desperate we are to try to fix everything. All right, there's another thing that's broken over here. Where did I send her? She's missing. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Is she right here? Did I put her in here? No, I did not. So she's repairing water treatment number one. So she actually managed to like scurry away from my grasp before I was able to go ahead and grab her. There we go. But this has made it much more efficient to try to find the things that are like blowing up literally in my face so that we can try to keep everything repaired long enough to make a profit. <laughs> because we're slowly but surely starting to complete some of our challenge friends. We just need to make 10,000 more dollars this year. We need, oh yes, another one of our emergency repair mechanics. We need to have a few more animal talks. So we need to hire another educator and we need to put out at least two of the animals that aren't already in the zoo that we've stuck into our trade center. Center. So we're going to definitely work on that. Meanwhile, let's grab this woman. There's still more things that are broken down. <laughs> and we're going to throw her over here. All right. And I'll come back for you, ma'am, because this is, this is actually kind of sort of working. I'm finally getting to the point where at least the things that are broken are getting fixed. And now I'm sort of wondering, like, habitat, maybe cleanliness is a clue? See, traversable area. I guess you have to really select animal welfare. You have to really like select the different animals. Negative impact, building. Maybe that can tell me like the buildings that aren't working, guest education coverage, security and crime, guest needs, staff happiness. Yeah, staff happiness is just a sad thing that we're not gonna look at for a little while. At least the power makes it easy for me to dive in and out and be like, okay, this needs repaired. All right, that definitely needs repaired. 
but we are doing it. We actually see some positives to our finances too, which makes me very, very happy. We have a gigantic mess full of litter, which we really need to do something about. Um, and we really need to go ahead and have the animals released back in here. So let's work on that next. I think we can actually quote unquote win this. I say with like severe hesitation uh, and the ibex habitat is damaged. So, all right, I really want to make sure that that gets repaired. Let me grab one of my mechanics. We're going to grab Brock. He's doing a general repair right now. Let's grab Audrey. There we go. Am I still by? Oh, she's inspecting the timber wolves. I take it back. Well, actually, look, I'll get a warning when the timber wolves are ready to pop. Here, let's see. Wait, is she over here? Like fixing? Okay, actually, timber wolves are about ready to like leave. So we'll leave her there. And then she's right next to the ibex. So I think that she'll repair the ibex while she's at it. Well, remember when this whole section was on fire? I do. That was literally just yesterday. <laughs> but all right, so now she's getting this fixed. Thank goodness. And, oh, our wandering spider has died. Rest in peace, little one. If I knew how to put down memorials, I would right now. Um, and meanwhile, I think we're going to risk it and we're going to go ahead. All right, this is getting slowly but surely repaired. Diseased animal discovered. It's because these hilarious little lemurs managed to get themselves totally lost. I, it took me forever to be able to collect all the lemurs and put them like away again. Um, our elephant, yeah, our elephant's about to be released. So now the only thing that we're missing are those Japanese macaques <laughs> that we had this terrible, terrible spot that we need to put the Japanese macaques in. It's terrible, it's small, I'm sorry, Japanese macaques, but at least we have the money to put in different shelters and we have, oh, look at the burrow, the burrow. Oh gosh, that got me really excited. Ooh, okay, and then let's go ahead, turn off blueprints for just a minute. And we're gonna want, oh, a little climbable natural bridge. Oh, look at all this new stuff. I haven't even had time to look at this yet. Wow, because we've just been putting out fires like nonstop. A goat climbing mountain. Oh, that's so cool. I didn't realize there was a goat climbing mountain. I can't wait to put that into Ice Ice Outpost. That's gonna be so much fun. We've got goats. Well, we have security goats, which are really like a whole bunch of our, um, I think they're the, the, albinistic antelope is what we've been, spring brock. There are the albinistic spring brock. And we also have a whole bunch of the rams. I wonder if the bighorn sheep, which I keep calling rams, will actually do well there. All right, then we have like scratching trees and scratching posts. Let's actually see what would be good for none other than our snow monkeys. So those would be Japanese macaques. There we go. All right, if we're gonna put down some stuff for the Japanese macaques, there are some climbable things that should be good. So if I'm gonna add, I'm gonna do any, but I want to shrink down, toggle by purchase DLC items, filters. I want it by, let's see, content pack. Not the Arctic pack. Is it the Arctic pack? Yeah, actually, I think, no, 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 not Arctic. This would be North American. What the heck? We don't have, oh wait, there it is, Europe pack. Okay, so there's a scarecrow feeder and then there's the goat climbing mountain from the Europe pack and really nothing else. Interesting, so that climbable branch must have been from an earlier pack and I just never make climbable things. Don't mind me, friends. All right, well, I can go ahead and maybe put a couple natural branches out. Can I just make something kind of climbable from this really, really fast? Maybe? All right. This is going to be very awkward, but look, I'm going to I'm going to try for the sake of our poor Japanese macaques to at least give them something that they can kind of climb up. I wonder if that's even all connected. Possibly not. Yeah, right there it's not. All right, let's scooch this over a little bit. And then we're just gonna put our Japanese macaques in here for a little bit and we're gonna see if we have finally made it so that our boys, our wild wacky boys, will be okay. 
Uh, and one of them is sick, so we do need to take good care of them for that reason too. But otherwise, let's see, Japanese macaque, Japanese macaque. They will be the last animal. Why do I always end up messing things up for the Japanese macaque too? I feel so bad. Because <laughs> they're the ones that I always end up like having such a terrible time with. They did terribly in our first like Zudesia Zoo. I really owe them a lot. I need to make their life a lot better. We'll put in a block of frozen fruit. Um, let's see. Chinese pangolin habitat. Climbing areas. Oh, a dog sled with dogs! <gasps> you guys, that's so cute! That's going in our ice ice outpost area for sure! I didn't know I had downloaded that. That's so freaking adorable. Let's see, donation covers. What can I put in here? Fantastic tree with climbing house? Oh, I would put this in, but you guys might escape. What if I put it in really low? All right, if I put it in really, really low, I think that we can get away with this. Just please don't escape. I'm trying to give you a gift. A gift of deep apology. All right, so now that we've done that, the badgers are all super stressed. I think it's because they can see people on this side now. So we're gonna come over and change this to one-way glass. And then we need to change the direction it faces. And I think that will help the badgers not be so stressed anymore. Um, we have a sick ostrich. We definitely don't need that. We have some sick American bison. Definitely don't need that. Okay, we have a lot of diseased animals. Ah, and we still have more. Where, where are our lemurs that are still stuck in? Oh my gosh. Oh geez. All right, this lemur is next to something that is like on fire. Ah, in a cave. This is exceptionally thematic and scary. I need, to, I need to fix this. I need, you know what? We're just gonna hire a new emergency mechanic, a cave expert who, you know what? I'm gonna keep this person up here like forever, which sounded exceptionally intimidating and exceptionally illegal. But by that, I mean the inner mountain area. There, Katrina, you are now an inner mountain area repair person. Please keep this like safe. Oh my word. And then, oh, yes, okay, so we have at least 20 different species in the zoo now, which is a good thing. There's no path to the destination for our lemur. So we're gonna watch this lemur and make sure as soon as it gets delivered, we grab it. Now we just need to have more animal talks. Bada boom, you guys, more animal talks and more money. And we'll finally have finished this. Oh, we're gonna spam this place with educators and animals like spots in just a second here. Here. While we wait for this poor, terrified lemur, I need to, like, I think this person's trying to come get the lemur. Oh, I love seeing people, like, with their little cell phones out. All right, while we wait for this poor, terrified lemur, let's come over, put down an animal talk spot. I feel so bad for these people ever having hired me <laughs> to, like, fix this. I have literally fired everybody and then just made this place, like, mega chaotic. All right, hang on. What's the upcoming month? So we're going to link this to the Eurasian links, and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to make this a, how about we make it a January talk or February talk? Cause that's coming up real soon in terms of this time. Then we're going to grab this educator and we're going to assign them. Oh, did I lose them? Got them, got them. Headed to animal talk number six and we're going to assign them maybe to the inner area. No, wait, that's a random person. Is that my animal educator? Ah, I just lost my animal educator. Also, did somebody drop a lemur in here yet? Oh, geez. Wait, 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 I think this is the lemur. Oh, it's so dark. All right, we're blindly reaching through the cave for the lemur, got it. Okay, hopefully that worked out all right. Um, and then we need to add this thing into the work zone on the inner mountain city. Ugh. Let me in. Oh my gosh, working on work zones here would be so hard. And then where's our newest educator? All right. This person is going to be in the inner mountain city and we'll just have to trust <laughs> that something can happen. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Dangerous fighting for alpha status from our follow deer. Meanwhile, our bison are just doing great and having babies. Lewis, no fighting your dad. We're gonna go ahead and release you to the wild. Off you go, shoo shoo. I know you're trying to become the alpha there, but that's just not the way things should be. Let's uh, request quarantine for these two so that they don't spread more sickness. 
gosh, and actually we're gonna call a vet to request quarantine on a bunch of these animals because they are sick. What the heck? All right. I forget about using quarantine because usually I don't have any problems with my animals becoming sick. But I think this is, okay. Teru is finally being relocated. And the bison, are they being transported? Okay, bison is being transported. And then we're missing some lemurs. Oh, in the trade center. Okay, I think, do we have a lemur in the trade center? Okay, we have these lemurs. Apparently they count as being in the trade center. Even if, or like being in a box, even though they're in the trade center. So we'll add them to the lemur area. Can I move our lynx back into the lynx area? Let's see. Eurasian lynx right there. Everybody should be going home after all the chaos we've been through. Everybody else is quarantined. There's a few facilities without power. We will fix that. <laughs> and vending machines broken down. However, <laughs> okay, it's November. We're still working on trying to have profit. If we can get more people in the zoo, that might be the way to do things. And we're still working on trying to have enough animal talks, which we should have a lot of animal talks with the educators down here. But we're going to hire one more educator and see if we can really make this happen. Also, maybe I should train these educators. All right, let's see. So there's another educator. I'm going to assign this person over to the... African story time area too because we have four animal talks already located there and let's have a keeper come take care of the animals I'm so glad we didn't fire so many keepers that we had to worry about everything going wrong with the keepers um, all right and now we're locating the things that are broken and we're going to be grabbing a couple of our general repair going to habitat uh, we're going to grab Katharina. Repairing transformer number two. Well, that's fine and dandy. But I need help over here. All right. Come on. Come on, Katharina. You can do it. I need you to repair this one. Right here. Broken down solar panel. Oh, geez. I think... How are we meant to get into the Eurasian Lynx habitat? I mean, that's a good question, ma'am. Oh, dear. All right, I may have really confused her. Dang it, all right, I'm gonna have to fire her because I think I broke her. I broke her mind. There was just too much for her to do. All right, there we go. At least we can like hire new emergency people to come in really fast. All right, and we're gonna work with Paulette for just a minute here to bring this city back to life. All right, let's repair this solar panel. No, come back! Paulette, where are you going? Okay, she's repairing these solar panels. It's kind of fascinating to see, like I, I really kind of like it, just watching the city sort of come back to life as you like move person after person. All right, no, I don't need to inspect snow leopards. Let's keep the repairs coming. This is kind of satisfying, like hunting down the little spots where it's like, oh, that one's that one's black, we need to fix it. Oop, 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 oop. What what did we just complete? Oh, we got the money! So now we just need our educators to educate over the course of the next year. Okay, you know what that means, guys. We definitely need to go ahead and we need to put in more educators and more animal talks. So let's slow everything down again real quick without pausing it because I give myself that challenge of not pausing very often. Um... Why is there no power over here? There's no way to reach the macaque exhibit! <laughs> what? Oh my gosh. All right, I've got to put a transformer out in the middle of yonder. Oh my word. I, I don't even have words for that. I just don't. <laughs> All right, so now we're supposed to have some animal talks during the course of the year. And then as soon as we have enough of them, all right, come on. So let's see, plain zebra, that's July. Next talk date is July. Next talk date is May. So I think we just need to make it through like a year and then we will have managed to accomplish everything. 
<laughs> so fingers crossed, friends. I'm sort of nervous about this. Maybe we'll put down some more of these and just have lots and lots of talks about these African animals at a freaking alpine area. But we've almost done it. I'm so excited. Why do I feel like everything's gonna just like blow up on us at the final moment? Possibly because it could. But all right, guys. I'm nervous about this. I think we're about to make it through all of this. We're gonna put down a whole bunch more. Oh my gosh, this thing's on fire too. <sighs> we're gonna reflect on how important work zones and keeping your zoo manageable to walk uh, really is. And if you guys could, do please leave a like for all of the wonderful animals that we barely saw because of all of this chaos, like this gorgeous snow leopard. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.